Welcome to DeepFND. In this presentation video, we will create a 25 feet by 25 feet rectangular concrete pile cap, which will be supported by a group of nine reinforced concrete circular drilled piles. We will create and analyze the model using the tools of our software program DeepFND. DeepFND can do structural and geotechnical design, lateral and vertical analysis of any pile type, including helical and non-helical piles. The additional modules, pile groups and pile rafts can be used in order to create any shape of pile cap supported by several piles. It transfers the total vertical and horizontal forces that are applied on the pile cap to every pile depending on the pile position and it performs total vertical and lateral analysis of every pile in the pile group. With the use of the pile raft additional module, the pile cap is considered a pile raft and the ground reactions below the pile cap are taken into consideration. As in any project designed with deep FND, our first action should be to review the geotechnical report and by accessing the edit soil type data button, we can create a list of soils and we can define their soil properties here to the right. We can use the existing soils in this soil database or we can add new soils in this list. We can define for each one of these soils the soil type, the general soil properties, the soil model and the lateral parameters depending on the soil type. Our second action should be to access the ended boring pattern and here we can edit boring 1 which is used here on the background. We can edit the boring by defining top of the soil layer elevation and selecting a soil from the list of soils we just created or edited. We can also add several borings in this list, access and modify each boring independently, and then we can assign a boring from this drop-down. Next, we should double-click on the pile, and here we can set the pile type, and we can edit the default structural section for the pile. Here we can select if the pile will be helical or non-helical. In this example we will use non-helical pile. And here we can select the pile installation method. The available options are drilled, driven, cation, micro pile, CFA pile, drilling displacement pile. In this example we will use drilled reinforced concrete piles. By pressing the edit button we can actually edit the structural section for the pile. The default section is a 5-foot reinforced concrete pile. Here we can define the pile shape. It can be circular, rectangular, circular hollow, octagon, steel pile or timber pile wood. In this example we will use a 3-feet diameter pile. So I will change the pile diameter to 36 inches and we will use 20 rebars number 5. I will also modify the name for the structural section. So this one will be the 3 feet pile. I press OK and the structural section for the pile changes. The first step in order to create a pile group is to go here on the tab Pile Caps where we can select to open the Pile Cap Wizard. In the Pile Cap Wizard we can select the basic shape for our pile cap, the available options are rectangular, circular and triangular. And here I will select a rectangular cap 25 by 25 feet. The software will use the default 3 feet pile section that we just edited in order to simulate all the piles. And here in the spacing options I can define the total number of the piles. I will use three piles in every direction. So it will be a total of nine piles on the pile cap. The default option for the spacing between the piles is three times the pile diameter. If we wish, we can press this option and define our own spacing. I will leave the default option, so I will press OK. And in this dialog that appears, I can review that the pile 25 by 25 is generated. Here we can define the footing dimensions and loading if we have a footing over the pile cap. Else 
If we wish, we can change and select the option multiple loads. And this will give us the option here, point loads, where we can add our own load groups. Select edit. And here we will add a load. And we can define the load magnitude, axial force, we will say 800, horizontal, we will say 60 kips in x direction and 70 kips in y direction. I press OK and with the second OK the pile cap is generated. Down here we have the stages. In DeepFND these are supposed to be loading stages. So I can right click here, add the stage. And if I access once again the pile cap, access the point loads and edit, I will see that I can set a different value for the axial and horizontal forces in each stage. I will go to the second box and I will type minus 400. This way I defined the maximum compression load in stage 0. This would be 800 kips for the pile cap. And I defined also minus 400 as a maximum tension load. I press OK and the software keeps these changes. Here we can select the option top view and we can see how the pile cap uh, looks from above. We can see all the piles and we can access and edit every pile. So if we access here and create a different structural section, we can assign a different structural section for every pile if we wish so. Also here by accessing the different piles, each pile at a time, we can change the installation angle so we can define uh, if some of these piles are battered and not totally vertical. We will go to the base model and we will select to calculate the selected design section. And when the analysis is performed, the analysis and checking summary table appears. Here we can review the most critical results among all stages for every pile and here we can review the results for every stage. When we exit the table we can also see the results graphically on the model area for every pile. If we go to the tab pile caps we can define the x and y position for the axis, so we can go to the axis position where every pile row is and we can review the results here on every direction, X and Y, we can review the pile moment with the moment capacity, we can review the pile shear diagrams, we can review the pile displacement on each direction and if we go to the pile caps and if we go to the top view, there are the options here to review the moment, the shears, the displacements on every direction on the pile cap. Finally, by pressing the button 3D view, this 3D viewer appears where we can use our mouse to rotate the model zoom in and out and if we go to the results tab we can load here the different displacement diagrams on every direction around the piles we can review the pile moment with a moment capacity or without again for each direction the shear stresses etc thank you for watching this video Visit our websites in order to review more information, examples and training videos about our software programs and feel free to contact us to receive information about our pricing or if you wish to arrange a free online presentation.